revisiting the lemon punch era of the World War 3 game mode, I had saved several stories from a spooky incidents thread before the forum had shut down. This story from 2015 was shared by two players, describing an incident that had happened during Operation Hellvine. Operations were fairly common, but are badly documented, so what little is publicly recorded of the operation was from the story itself. Some soldiers, in their own words, were about to assault the globalist territory. They were walking through a tunnel that was littered with broken cars. It's not even clear what map was used, although EU Valley Run on the game mode in 2015 has a tunnel. One of the members of this group recalls hearing shots being fired, and that the others were screaming in team speak that they had killed a ghost or something. Another player recalls it as having been a ghost, but what exactly they encountered is not known. And like so many details from years ago, despite attempts to document these details, will likely remain a mystery. In March 2020, the Nebulous community launched a game mode with a specific law. Set in East Germany in 1992, this iteration called Stasiland ran for a few months. During those few months, a reduction in military confrontation was replaced with a higher amount of civilian roleplay. A year later, it became apparent that the number of incidents in this period was very high. Several people listed experiences worthy of being an iceberg, including cases of war crimes, treason, espionage, and disasters. What's particularly unusual about the incidents from Stasiland is that no evidence from that period has surfaced for any of the incidents at all. In July 2021, the next generation gaming community tried the game mode, launching it on the map RP Salvation 2 Stalker Snow. There was a doll that had been left laying in the coalition base, which nobody seemed concerned about, at least until the map changed. Now on RP Pripyat fixed, the doll appeared again. I didn't see it myself on this second occasion, but admins have been chatting about it reappearing, and by coincidence, there was a player that had once described to me that their character on the server owned a doll. They wouldn't have been able to spawn the doll, because players didn't have prop spawning ability on the server. Even the admins were unlikely to spawn such props, as there was a strict rule against creating paranormal activity. So none of us seemed to be sure about where these dolls were coming from. A globalist character by the name of James Perrell had defected to the Coalition. This was a booster Coalition propaganda, as the Coalition wanted to protect its independence against the globalist regime that would now execute him for defecting. He was quickly promoted to private first class, but during a patrol, his team was engaged in overrun, and he was last seen holding his ground on a hill. Having lost contact with him, and thereby assuming he had been captured, and was now under heavy guard by globalist military police, the Coalition wanted to put a team together to rescue him. But faced with the impossible task of such a dangerous mission, coupled with the likelihood that he had already been executed, the Coalition instead put together a mission of revenge. A small team snuck up to get a view of the globalist base, and fired into it before retreating. In their report of the action, it was a success in that some of the globalist soldiers had been shot, and the team had returned to their base alive, although one of the members had been wounded, and the character of James Perrell had been banned before the team even got near the globalist base. So James Perrell was assumed to have been executed, and was posthumously awarded two medals. Through your character, you could experience levels of tension that you don't find in other games. To be under attack, with the enemy closing in, and to not know what's going to happen to your character. That's spooky.